In this short tutorial, we'll learn how to bake constraints in Blender. Bake constraint turns constraint-driven motion into permanent keyframes. Normally, with a constraint, your object depends on another one, but when you bake it, the motion is converted into keyframes and the object moves freely without the constraint. Let's see how this works. Add a cube and also add a circle curve. Scale the curve a little bigger. Select the cube, go to the constraints tab and add a follow path constraint. Choose the circle as the target object. Enable the follow curve and click animate path button. When you play the animation, the cube follows the circle path. Let's bake this motion into keyframes. Select the cube, go to the object menu, animation, and choose bake action. You can set any frame range. I set the frame range from one to 100. If the constraint is applied to a bone, you should select pose data. But in this case, the constraint is applied to an object, so we choose object data. There are some options. Only selected will bake only what is selected. Enable visual keying and clear constraints. Visual keying saves the visible motion created by the constraint. Clear constraints removes the constraint after baking. Clear parents removes parent relationships. Overwrite current action replaces any existing animation. Clean curves simplifies the keyframes by deleting unnecessary points. In this case, we enable visual keying and clear constraints and leave the others unchecked. In the channel section, you can choose what to bake. Location controls the object's movement. Rotation controls the object's orientation. Scale controls the object's size. To keep the animation simple, I will include only location and rotation. Click OK and you will see the cube's motion converted into keyframes. The constraint is removed. The cube is now independent and the animation is ready for export.